Hello there, and welcome back to Minecraft, I guess. This is my 10-year-old Minecraft map. Well, actually, I, I think it might actually be older than that at the point when I created it and started building in here in single player. But um, since then, it's been many, many years. And I think it's been like seven years since we worked on this map because after a couple of years of working on this on single player, eventually we moved on and I and I invited my build team to work on this as well. And it has been worked on over uh, various Minecraft versions. So sometimes we upgraded entire builds. This was actually the first little village whoop, that I builded um, and then eventually upgraded again. And now it's looking like this. So today I thought... I do a quick little world tour of all the builds to kind of remember them for myself, but maybe also for some older subscribers that might still remember this, because this was a pretty big thing on my channel back in the day. And um, yeah, maybe some new viewers also just enjoy seeing this. And also, it's just an experiment to see if... Should I, should I have my yearly Minecraft phase again? I haven't been playing Minecraft at all. I can barely walk around without pressing the wrong button because I've been playing so many other games with different controls. But um, yeah, do let me know if you would like to see some more Minecraft. I often think about just starting a new creative world, sometimes building it in it whenever I feel like it. And if I don't touch it for months, that's fine as well. But yeah, this is the, the first little village that, we, that I wanted to show you. Um, let's move on to a different location. And there we go, we got a second location here in the desert. I would go inside to the mountain and show you the underground cave city, but because this used to be a server and now I have it in single player, for some reason I'm stuck in a very high speed fly mode and it's terrible to go inside. So instead, I'll just show you a little bit around here uh, on the outside of the desert and we'll slowly move on to the next build and we got a little camp inspired by the dothraki from game of thrones um yeah this still looks pretty good there i go i, I try to shift and run but of course in minecraft that is sneaking instead oh yeah this is quite a fun build to to revisit in in minecraft um the project was called uh chronos at the end it used to be amethyst it, it started as my gigantic map it's 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 really transformed over the years and there's so much here there's so much memories for me here that i just wanted to walk around it one more time and kind of just you know show around and you know, for me to have some memories and maybe some of you have some memories as well again we got the hidden library here i would love to show you the inside but with my fly mode I don't think I want to try and go in there. I will go crazy and just walking around might take a little bit too long. Uh, but it is fun to be back in Minecraft. I took a very long break from Minecraft for various reasons. Although I must say that usually once a year or about once a year, you get the little Minecraft urge and you have your Minecraft phase for two weeks and then uh, you move on again. Uh, but now that I've gotten back into building in games with arc ascended and enshrouded you know there's a little bit of me that wonders whether it's uh, it's time to maybe build a little bit in minecraft as well and maybe start some kind of chronos 2.0 a new map and just make some new builds whenever i feel like it but as i said i'm not quite sure yet i don't know if i want to introduce minecraft to the channel and uh, I, don't, I wouldn't know how many videos i would be able to do and if people would even be interested in seeing those videos um, and besides i'm having so much fun especially with arc and I shrouded as well the building is pretty incredible but you know it is always fun to look back at what we've built in the past and this actually is one of the very og builds you can probably tell by the block palette here and the simple style but yeah, this was a very fun project back in the day, building in ruins. This would look totally different now. There's so many new blocks. I can't even keep up with all the new blocks that are. That is one of the reasons why 
I do have the little tingle of maybe trying to build again. And it doesn't have to be like having a new build every week, but maybe just, you know, whenever you feel like it. If you build something nice, I still have a couple of friends that are also still playing Minecraft now and then. So could have a little team building some stuff. So it might be fun. But for now, I'm just no, not making any promises, that's for sure. Just looking out uh, the old Kronos to, to see some memories and see some cool builds. Even though probably this is very old, old and outdated now. And no way that you would build like this now and still think it would be looking good. But um, this, was, this was pretty good back then. Like this, this was at some point one of the better builds out there like this was impressive in the day and it's hard to to think about it now because yeah this doesn't look very good if you look at it like this uh this one is actually really fun especially now that i'm working on my shire build in enshrouded this is the shire build that i did in minecraft many many years ago with uh i think one or two friends actually only i don't think we worked with a lot of people on this but uh yeah it's uh, hobbit builds are always fun doesn't matter what game um hobbits just it's a very nice style to do very very unique but also a, a certain feeling always comes with hobbit builds and yeah i get that here as well definitely would love to do another hobbit build in minecraft as well when i would go back to minecraft at some point because i feel like yeah, again, there's much to improve since all those years have passed. Then there's a big build over here. A big ruin based on Dol Guldur out of Lord of the Rings. Or maybe more The Hobbit, uh, where you actually see it. And um, yeah, this is also a pretty cool build, in my opinion. And there's another big build right behind it. A big savage tribe has moved in and build like a big camp here and then there's the start of like a custom forest all built by hand by the way these trees this is not like just having a tree pack and pasting them no designing the trees by hand building them they don't look that great now but yeah it was a fun project and then i think oh yeah there's a start of an elven build here landscape is completely ruined because this was going to be like a markwood inspired build and uh, yeah definitely doesn't look that good without being done but there was a lot of potential here that's for sure and then just like i did in arc we got a little hagrid's hut yeah always a nice lovely small build and uh nice and cozy on the inside second little part of the build very nice very small just a nice little detail hidden in the forest um i love doing things like this this is this is one of the reasons why I would love to have like a Minecraft map again to do some builds in just because of these small little builds that you can hide away. And speaking of small, look at the Air Temple inspired build. Perfectly timed right now with uh, the new Avatar show on Netflix as well. But uh, yeah, look at these builds. Very much inspired by Avatar. Yep, yep. And then we got some, some burned down farmland here. I think over here, yes, we got like a big castle in the swamp. Probably a lot of witches hanging out here. One of the cooler builds right over here, which is a dwarven entrance to an underground city. Uh, city is not there, but the, the entrance is there. This was actually a time lapse. I think it's still on this channel, probably. Uh, yeah, this was a fun project. It's always fun to do like these big builds in one session, having it in a time lapse with a whole team. That was one of the, the more fun things to do, I think, in Minecraft. Building with a big group and creating something truly magnificent, like a very big build in one go, is uh, it's very nice to do. Yeah, I've got very fond memories from working on this map. I think for a long time I had kind of a Minecraft burnout. Also because I had not just this channel, but another channel as well, where I felt like pressured into keeping making minecraft content even though i was kind of done with it so at some point i just decided to not do it anymore but that was too late i feel like i i kept on going for too long when not enjoying it and that's definitely the worst thing you can do but a little uh, venetian inspired build over here you can probably recognize a few of these things definitely 
being very heavily inspired by Venice itself. Um, it's also a very laggy place because we used a lot of little heads here as well. And there is actually a big secret here. Um, right down here we go. We got the Assassin Brotherhood right here. Um, it was never finished, unfortunately, but it's a definitely a very cool build. And um, the one of the coolest features is right here. You would think, oh, that's that's a shame. This is just a door. But no, it opens with command blocks. And you get to the Grand Hall of the Assassin Brotherhood. And that looks something like this. This would be great if it was completely finished. This is a, a very cool build. And yeah, things like this are just very fun. Hiding these different builds in a map like this. This map is pretty big. Or... No, I should say this map looks pretty big. It isn't that big. The, most of the builds are actually very close together, which is one of probably the biggest mistakes we made on this map. Um, uh, but that was just because I wanted to build too many different things. There were so many styles that I wanted to try and all fit into the map, uh, which would probably be one of the things that would change if I would do it all again. Having more room, bigger map, because you need some space between builds, because... I mean, we got a little little town, little city there, and then we got all this here as well. Even though, I guess, technically this is more of, like, farmland as well. So, this might still be okay. But then we got, like, all this here. Which, basically another town, let's be honest. Which, I feel that distance could be fine, since it's similar style. But then we have, like, a giant city here, which is a completely different style. Not very realistic, that would be the same kingdom necessarily, so yeah, uh, maybe not the best way of planning, but we just wanted to do too many different things. This is a very big project as well, got different districts, I love this little district, the poor district, the middle class district looks pretty cool as well with some different builds in it, then the rich district is, I don't like this style at all, I don't think it looks good, I think the block palette just doesn't work. Um, and then we got this district, which that does look a little bit better. This is, I think, the military district on the hill here. And then the harbor, unfortunately, was never done. But the planning for it looks quite cool. And then we got the big palace here, which definitely is the best build here. Uh, this looks very good. This looks very cool. Uh, a shame that this wasn't finished. But uh, yeah, this has a lot of potential. That is for sure. This does look very very cool okay there we go we're going into these snowy areas of the map we got another savage camp wildling camp um different variation on the same style this will probably be closer to the wildlings from game of thrones um but it's pretty much the exact same style it's the same build just in a different location on the map um we got the start of the wall right here um leading up to the actual wall you can see Game of Thrones was pretty big when we were working on this. Uh, we got a big castle here, which was also like part of a cool project. I think we did this all on stream. Not quite sure if it was an English stream or a Dutch stream, because I did both at that time. So many, many of my memories are actually intertwined, because there's so many videos I made on this map, but some of them were in English, some of them were in Dutch. Like, I made over hundreds of of videos on this map building and updates and everything uh we got a little like castle black inspired build over here it's like a dwarven prison somewhere in here which you can't actually access through the front because there is like a closed gate but i think there's like a hidden entrance somewhere here right over here you know i still remember all these details it's a killer rabbit bunny Right in there that killed one of the builders. There we go. Yeah, it's just a, um, a trip down to memory lane for me. Maybe not so much for you as a viewer. But uh, yeah, this was a big part of my life. I spent so many hours on this. And uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it definitely holds a special place in my heart. Like, it, it was a cool thing to work on. There's so much landscape still, like... That we re landscaped because the map was so old at some point, like it didn't look good anymore. So we started landscaping again. But if you look at it like now, you would probably want to change all this landscape. You want to change these mountains because 
it's so there's so many new things to make them look better now in Minecraft as well. Got like the little long ship there. I think there's a build hidden in this forest somewhere as well. Like there's so many, so many builds here. Um, old and and very old, I should say, because nothing is really new here. Like this, it's old or very old. There's some landscaping here, definitely not done. Um, we got some cool ice spikes here and a dead dragon here in the ice. We got a abandoned castle on the edge of this lake, which was abandoned after the dragon attack. And then they established Lake Town here, which, um, yeah, also a very cool build. Very old at this point, but one of my favorite memories is from working on this place for sure. We, um... I remember starting on this and we were so hyped because the Hobbit movies were coming out around that time and we were building the lake town and I think at some point I said maybe we should pace ourselves because I want to be able to work on this longer and then we stopped working on this. But that's always dangerous because then at some point when we had to return to the project to finish it we weren't as motivated anymore. But yeah this is definitely a very cool build as well with a lot of detail and I think because of the location on the map, we got this little like, um, yeah, cave system which functions as a way for the ships to get into the lake. Because if you go all the way through, I love the way it looks with all these glowing oars. Go all the way through this little cave, you end up at sea. So there's a little like docking station, like little harbor here on the outside of the landscape as well think there is like some hidden details here as well yeah look at this little shipwreck there's like a little burned village probably also attacked by the dragon at some point and then i think yeah there's another entrance to the dwarven stronghold underneath the mountains oh god we're under the ice there's another entrance here to the dwarven stronghold and this one actually has a little bit of interior like this is the the harbor place for the dwarves. A little bit overgrown now. But yeah, there's still some, some builds in here as well. Um, looking quite nice. Trying to fly as slowly as I can here. Yeah, there's a bunch of details going around as well. This was a, it was a very fun time to work on all these Minecraft builds. And with all the building and creative things that I've been doing in games as of late... I often wonder whether it's, you know, time to to try to do something in Minecraft again, because even though this was ages ago, um, there's so much new opportunities in Minecraft as well for things to build. Okay, look at this. There's a whole pirate island here as well with uh, various builds all based around ship designs. Here, this is like a ship graveyard. Um, another very cool build. Yeah, I mean, as I said, this was... This is this has been years of my life. This was a very cool Minecraft project back in the day. And with all the creative things that I've been doing, like builds in Ark, builds in Enshrouded, I sometimes wonder whether it's about the right time to maybe try and build some more in Minecraft as well. I'm not quite sure yet, because of course, there would be a big time investment as well. Relearning the game, relearning the build system, because it's been so long that I've done any like serious building um, and there's so many new blocks and there's only so much time you know you have to play games so you need to divide it but i just wanted to go down this little trip down memory lane and uh, take some of you along with me as well maybe some of you still remember the map as well um i've recently had some comments on old videos as well remembering the map and people saying they grow up grew up watching this map you know unfold uh, which, you know, kind of made me want to go back to it and look at it again. And usually when I want to look at it, I look at the cinematic that we had made at some point. Because, you know, it's it's nice, it's not too long. Uh, but walking around the map it definitely also has a special place. Because it's a lot different if you really experience it like this. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if I should give my yearly minecraft face another go this year and we'll see when exactly that would be and what exactly we will be doing thank you so much for joining me and hopefully i'll see you in the next one goodbye